Yeah, well, I mean, as many of you know, I mean, the situation here in Flint is very tragic. Um, our water system is, is poisonous. Uh, people are actually dying uh, because of the water here. Babies here coming out, women that are pregnant, they're losing their babies all because of water. Um, so here at First Trinity, we took it upon ourselves to actually start a water station um, where we can, you know, service not only other churches, um, but the community at large. So twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays from 10 to 2, um, our doors are open to the public. I know a lot of places they're asking for IDs. We don't ask for ID. We're just trying to get the water to the people. Um, and we hand out um, cases of water. We've received uh, so many donations from people all over the country. Um, and we hand out water to them uh, so that they can uh, fulfill their needs in terms of cleaning, cooking, eating, brushing their teeth, bathing. Um, so we do that here at First Trinity. Detroit, uh, actually uh, a suburban part of Detroit, Southfield, Michigan. Marcus Johnson, Southfield, Michigan. Bring as much water up as possible, you know, for the disaster in Flint, for the kids, for the adults, just trying to help out as much as we can. I do have uh, friends and stuff. No family, but a lot of friends in Flint. Yeah, I have, have a lot family. of family. Yeah, I have a lot of family that live in Flint. Denson family. So when I heard about this, it's, it's home. My grandfather lives here. You know, grandmother, everyone was raised here. So um, it was a no-brainer. We had to come up here and help them. Like, it's, it's, it's water. It's the freest thing that we're supposed to be able to have. The, the problem is that the governor solely is responsible you know, on any level, you know, it is a travesty for anyone to point at the president to blame him for it or to go to city council to blame him for it because it as it signs off to whatever goes on inside the state, whatever, it goes through him. The last managers he put in place, all three plus companies that have worked as uh, being over the environmental issues, whatever, all report to him directly. So when you put up the work board, how it's done, whatever, each time it shows there's no possible way that these things happen inside the city, and he did not write off on it. That he did not get the report on his desk of the, the testing results. That he did not get the financial um, um, problems within the city concerning uh, the water base. You know, uh, and, that, and that's what it gets down to because in the day, it, it's about the dollar. It's about the dollar. I think everyone knows that, but I guess we kind of rear away from stating it's about money. It's about this poor city. It does not stop after the cameras stop rolling that this is going to be a long, continual fight until they continue to be aware and make sure they keep their eyes on Flint to see what our government will do about it while we are going to send funds across uh, seas and send our children across seas to fight and to guard uh, oil and that matter. Here in America, water is not being serviced among us while we're sending water to other places as pure Michigan. Um, make sure they understand that this problem will not be resolved until there's digging, that is, there is an infrastructure system being put in the ground and to the homes to make sure people are getting quality water. And until that type of thing is done, whatever, the story's not over. It's not going to end.